So, let's begin. Ready to find out how many fabulous scenes didn't make the final cut of the Disney live-action Cruella? The film might have a runtime of two hours, but there were still things left unsaid between the devilish Estella and the unruly Baroness. Which leaves us with the question, why were these scenes not included? Let's find out. Anything could happen. I could throw up or I could pass out or whatever, and I would still be like, oh, it's fine, I'm, I yeah. love it. Although the film was meant to be Cruella's villain origin story, Emma Stone's Estella actually ended up coming out more as an anti-hero, if anything. The real villain is Emma Thompson's dreadful Baroness. Director Craig Gillespie knew he had to give Disney fans as much content as possible between the two women, which is why he sat down and planned the film shot by shot. He didn't want to film anything that wasn't going to end up in the final cut. This also meant that every scene they shot was sent to the editing room to be edited with the intent of it making it to Hollywood. But while Disney is the place where dreams come true, his dream just wasn't realistic. Scenes were cut from the film for a lot of different reasons. Now I'm with you. Oh, uh, that's why you're peeved. There were plenty of antics between the Baroness and Cruella that had us on the edge of our seats. However, there was one scene where the Baroness gets snippy that didn't make it to the big screen. Craig said, I think there's one scene with the Baroness where she cuts up one of Cruella's designs. It's probably 45 seconds, and we lost that scene. It was a moment that would have left us questioning who the cruel one really was, but it just didn't flow with the rest of the film. You win some and you lose some, right? How do you like it? The Baroness wasn't the only one who had one of their moments to shine put on the chopping block. Cruella is a film composed of darkness and humor, which made it all the more unique. However, the filmmakers had to make sure they found the perfect balance between the two. Craig said the whole process was about how much we wanted to keep the gravity of what's going on versus having these punctuations for humor. Unfortunately for actor Paul Walter Hauser, this meant giving up quite a bit of screen time. Paul, who played Horace, the close friend of Estella and then Cruella, is secretly a master improviser. You just blew my mind. He would add hilarious lines to every scene he was in. However, Cruella wasn't exactly a comedy, which means that sometimes the comedic relief needed to be turned into tension. Craig admitted, There are some jokes from Paul that I love in the third act that just didn't fit the tone of where we were at that point in the film. With how funny some of his one-liners in the final cut are, in more films than just Cruella, there's no doubt these unreleased moments are probably hilarious. Freeze. Whatever you do, don't turn around. <laughs> However, Paul doesn't seem to mind a huge amount that his lines were cut. In fact, during his interview with Vulture, he told them he was just happy to be here. And there's, uh, and there's a lot of humor and room for humor. Apart from deleted scenes, Cruella was a film that was in development for years before it was even known to the public. Emma Stone said she was still filming La La Land back in 2015 and 2016 when she first caught wind about the film. As you probably guessed, over the years there were plenty of modifications made to the script. According to Craig, originally the Dalmatians weren't supposed to be as maniacal like we saw in the final cut. They were only supposed to scare Cruella instead of being the reason for her mother's demise. But Craig fought for the darkness, and maybe for the first time in Disney's history, the darkness actually won. It had to be this very aggressive moment. It's one of those places where you're going to lean in. Craig pitched his idea to the executives, and Disney never backed down from it once they saw it. Another huge adjustment to the scripts that diverged even from the original 101 Dalmatian story is Cruella's animal cruelty situation. They knew from the beginning that Cruella making clothing out of Dalmatian fur wasn't going to fly, and their handling of the situation made Cruella's character even more complex than just a lady with doggy issues. Her whistle, she called the dogs on her, she's like... Cruella plays up the image that she does in fact harm dogs, when she's actually pretty fond of them. In the film, she says, sometimes it's better to be what they expect you to be, which is a huge metaphor for how we live in society even today. The world has no idea who the true Cruella really is. I've got a few ideas. Hey Disney, maybe we could get some of those deleted scenes released? All jokes aside, insight on these deleted scenes and concepts shows just how much thought goes into what makes the final cut of a film. 
It's a very intricate process, especially when dealing with characters that are so well known already. What cutscenes would you most want to see? Thanks for watching.